Okay, so today we will be having our first ever lesson regarding the 21st century literature from the Philippines and the world. Okay, just like what I mentioned last time, now we will be tackling first, okay, will be all about Philippine, not Philippine literature. Now before we go, now probably by next quarter, by next quarter, <coughs> into those international uh, literature, no other literature is not from the other countries. Okay, so we will be starting from the Philippine literary history. Okay, so from the word itself, history. Okay, so history of the Philippine literature. Okay, so meron tayo mga iba't ibang stages. This one. Ah, later on pala, wait lang. Meron tayo iba't ibang stages na tinatawag. Meron tayong pre-colonial. Meron tayong Spanish, no, era. Meron tayong... <coughs> American era, meron tayong Japanese era, at meron tayong contemporary era. Okay, those are the periods okay, of the Philippine literary no, natin. Okay, so later on, we are going to, uh, to, to, to tackle all of those. Pero kung hindi kaya matapos, at least kahit dun muna sa pre-colonial. Okay, medyo madami rin kasi yung pre-colonial. So first things first. Okay, so eyes on the screen. First things first, this will be the activity of yours at the end. This will be submitted via Facebook page and it will be submitted on or before Friday. Okay, so I have already uh, made uh, our FB page. It is entitled 21st Century Literature from the Philippines in the World School Year 2021-2022. Later on, I will be sending the link of the FB page to say new GC in order for me to accept no, all of you. Again, pag sinod ko na yung link ng no, FB page, paki-join agad, no, mag-join agad para doon nyo po isasubmit yung inyong mga TikTok video in this uh, activity of ours. So this is entitled, I'm just a kid challenge. So I know that you are very familiar with it. Okay, so you're just going to choose no, two of your photos or even video kung meron kayo. No, one photo or video when you were still a child and then one recent photo or video of yours. Okay? So, pagka-page sa inyong <coughs> pag ipopost nyo na rather, okay, yung caption na lang no, should answer these questions. Okay? What can you say about yourself? What are the obvious changes happened to you? Did you really change? Okay? Physically ba? Or uh, tawag dito? <coughs> Emotionally. Okay? So, ito yung nasa caption na you answer dun sa tanong and then yung TikTok video mismo. Okay? So, again, is that clear? Isesend ko po yung FB page link later on after the class of ours. Okay? Hindi hit the thumbs up button yung period. Okay? So, ganito yung sample niya. No? Pero lalagyan po ng caption. When you're spending every day on your own and here Spending every day on your own And here it goes I'm just a kid And a life is a When you're spending every day on your own And here it goes I'm just a kid And a life is a nightmare When you're spending every day on your own And here it goes I'm just a kid When you're spending every day on your own And here it goes I'm just a kid and a life is a no When you're spending every day on your own And here it goes I'm just a kid and a life is a no When you're spending every day on your own And here Spending every day on your own And here it goes I'm just a kid And a life is a nightmare When you're spending every day on your own And here it goes I'm just a kid And a life is a nightmare When you're spending every day on your own And here it goes I'm just a kid And a life is a nightmare when you're spending every day on your own And here it goes I'm just a kid And a life is a nightmare When you're spending every day on your own And here it goes I'm just a kid And a life is a nightmare When 
you're spending every day on your own And here it goes I'm just a kid and a life is a nightmare Okay, so that is an example of uh, what TikTok video you're going to submit no, on or before Friday no, with a caption again, huh? with a caption of this answer no, on these uh, three questions. Okay, So again, submission will be on Friday, on or before Friday, this coming Friday. And then don't put a submit sa ating FB page that I will be sending later on Okay, after the class. Next, so we will be tackling now about literature. Okay, So what do you mean by literature? Or how are we going to define the word literature? Okay, so etymologically, when we say literature, it is derived from the Latin term litera, okay, which means letter. Okay, so again, etymologically defined, when we say literature, it is derived from the Latin term or Latin word litera, which means letter. Okay, so another definition of it, it is a body of written works. Okay, so it is a traditionally been applied to those imaginative works of poetry and prose. Okay, not just limited to poetry and prose, I literature not, and there are many types of uh, literature. Written works, especially those considered of superior or lasting artistic merit. Okay, so we call literature those, um, those artistic no, no, mga stories, mga poems, prose, or anything, okay, that we can call literature. Okay, so that is what we call literature. Another definition for that. So when we say literature, so literature expresses feelings, <laughs> product of imagination, it is undying, it is originated from oral traditions. Okay, so when we say literature according to Brother Azurin, okay, literature expresses the feelings of people to society, to the government, to his surroundings, to his fellow men, and to his divine creator. Okay, so this is expression of the feelings. Expression of the emotions. No, yung literature natin. Kaya nga tayo nakakagawa, di ba? Ng mga very good literature. Okay, ng mga amazing literature because malalim yung pinaghuhugutan kung baga ng mga author. Okay? So, mas maganda if it is directly no, experienced by the author, directly uh, feel no, by the author. Okay? Minsan kasi dito, ito rin yung time kung saan nag-vent out no, yung isang author. Okay? They put it in, in, into a writing Okay, in a form of literature, in order for them to vent out no, what are their feelings, what are their emotions right now. Okay, so kaya maganda yung kanalalabasan kasi merong pinag-uhugutan yung mga literature nila. Next, according to the Webster, when we say literature, it is anything that is printed as long as it is related to the ideas and feelings of the people, whether it is true or just a product of one's imagination. Okay, so let us all remember that literature okay, is not all true. Diba? Meron niya tayong fiction, tsaka non-fiction. Okay? Meron tayong product of just imagination, meron din naman true to life experiences. Okay? So kaya ito ay tinawag na product of imagination. Lastly, uh, we do have here, literature, according to Panitik and Pilipino, expresses the feelings and emotions of people in response to his everyday efforts to live, to be happy in his environment, and after struggles to reach his creator. Okay, so literature is undying, you know, it expresses feelings and emotions of the people, okay, with our everyday lives, okay, and then lastly, originated from oral traditions. <coughs> Bakit siya originated from oral traditions? Kasi bago pa man tayo uh, magkaroon ng mga written literatures, di ba, noong unang panahon, talagang ang ating literature nagsasaling dila lang, no? oral traditions ang nagagamit natin. Okay, so hindi pa put into writing. Okay, so way back on the first, uh, ano natin, uh, bago pa siguro mag, uh, bago pa ang Spanish occupation, no? bago pa ang Spanish period. No? Kaya it is originated from oral traditions. Okay, so how about you naman? Okay, how are you going to define literature? If you will be the one to ask, what is literature for you? You can chat it in the chat box. What do you mean by literature? Or how are you going to define literature? No, in what way? You can type your answer in the chat box. Yes, Fiona. 
um, the door through which we can open our imaginations and feelings. Po. Okay, very and, good. So it is a, a door no, that we can open to our feelings and imagination. That's good. No, para a certain a certain escape no, to the real world of ours. No? So ang ating uh, literature. Okay? So that is a good example of definition when it comes to literature. Okay? Next is doon na tayo pumunta sa ating mga literary history. Okay? Ito yung literary history natin may kulang dyan, yung Japanese. Pre-colonial period, Spanish period, the American period, the Japanese period, and the contemporary period. Okay, so kaya kailang kaya natin gagawin yung activity, which is I'm just a kid challenge. Ganun din tayo sa literary history. Magsisimula tayo sa past, up until the present, literature natin. Okay, so now we will be tackling first the pre-colonial period. Okay, question first. Bakit tinawag na pre-colonial period? Why is it called as pre-colonial? <coughs> Yes, uh, Olivares. I think, sir, hindi pa po tayo nakakolonize po ng mga tayuhan po? Okay, exactly. No? So we, this uh, period is called pre-colonial because we are not yet colonized by those colonizers. Kaya pre-colonial pa lang siya. Ang una naman, Spanish, di ba? So meaning this is before Spanish occupation. <coughs> this one. The pre-colonial period existed before the Spanish occupation. Oral in nature, based on traditions and customs of a particular area of the, of the country, dried leaves, bamboo cylinder, and bark of the trees. <coughs> Sources were usually local native town folks. Okay? So dito, oral tradition, ano nangyari? Dito oral in nature, yung pre-colonial, pero nagkaroon na rin ang written, pero sinusulat sila ito ay dried leaves, ng bamboo cylinder, sa mga bark of the trees. Kaya, kaya minsan meron tayong mga nakikita uh, kaya no, for those uh, parts no, na may mga writings. Uh, kaya mga sinuunang writings. So pre-colonial, again, existed before the Spanish occupation before we have been colonized. So sa pre-colonial period, meron tayong tinatawag na written literature and oral literature. Okay? So under written literature are poems or tanaga. Meron din tayong epigrams sa lawikain. Sa oral literature, meron tayong riddles, folk songs, proverbs, and the likes. Okay, let's get to it one by one. <coughs> okay, this one. So written literature muna tayo, mamaya tayo sa oral. Written literature, when we say poems, poems, these are common forms of poetry which has a train with seven syllables. Each with the same rhyme. At the end of each line, it also expresses insights and lessons in life. Okay, but for now, meron na tayong mga free verse. Uh, kaya hindi lang yung mga rhyming yung dulo. Kaya kung minsan nakakakita tayo ng mga poem na hindi na ganun karay pa dati yung sa dulo kasi meron tayong mga free verse okay, na poems. Okay, so may I ask lang, what poem pa yung inyong natatandaan? Okay, do you have anything in your mind? Ah, may chutan dapat, title of a poem, or even the author of it, title and author of it. Sino pang mga nakakatanda ng mga alam nilang poem way back on high school? No, of course, no, junior high ninyo. Maraming mga poems. Anyone? When type it on the chat box, ano yung mga poems na alam nyo pa? African Child. Okay, so who's the author of African Child? Okay, no, The Road Not Taken, according to Lian. Okay, the most famous one. The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. No? So two roads they bridge in the yellow wood. Okay, so yun. Talaga yun high school, no, yung The Road Not Taken, this legend. Okay, so marami pang ibang uh, poem. Okay, especially kay Edgar Allan Poe. Okay, marami pang si Emily. No, marami pang uh, mga poems no, that we have read before. No, medyo nakalimutan lang siguro. Next is the folk tales. Okay, when we say folk tales, it deal no, with the power of nature, personified submission to a deity or batala. Okay, so yung mga <coughs> folk tales, kalimitan mga kwentong bayan. Okay, kung baga in uh, Tagalog. Okay, so not all naman is uh, directly uh, submitted 
matutubat hala. Meron tayong mga folk tales na katulad ng pinakasikat na Wan Tamad. Okay, so si Wan Tamad is a kwentong bayan. That is an example of a folk tale. Next is hindi tawag natin myth. Okay, so myth natural to strange occurrence of the earth. Okay, natural to strange occurrence of the earth. Ano ang pinakasikat nating myth? Of course, no na other than si Malakas at si Maganda. Okay, so that is the most famous myth of ours. No, in Philippine myth, si Malakas at si Maganda. Okay, so meron din mga iba, uh, katulad ng mga creatures natin, si Nabakunawa, okay, yung sinasabing kumakain ng moon. Okay, so those are all Philippine mythology. Okay, when it comes to myth. Okay. <laughs> Next is the legends. So, alamat. Legends is stories with moral credit to supernatural powers. Okay, so alamat, Maria Makili. <laughs> Meron dito ko sa mga lugar, tukol sa mga prutas. Okay, those are different legends. Alamat ng pinya, alamat ng bayabas. Okay, those are the legends na tinatawag natin kung saan may aral at the end. Okay, meron siyang moral credits. Next is the fables, of course. Okay, fables, short stories that cater the children of native Filipinos. So it uses animals as characters. Okay, so ano yung pinakasikat? Uh, fables, no Philippine fables. Tanda pa? Written by Dr. Serizal. Aside from lang gamat, ipak lang. Ipagong at kaneho. Meron pa. Written by Dr. Serizal. Sa Riverbank. Nandun din si Pagong. Okay, ang Pagong at ang matching, no? the monkey and the turtle no? by Dr. Jose Rizal. Okay, so that is uh, one of the fables no? na meron tayo. Pero tama rin naman yan. Sinawap, uh, kuneho at ang Pagong, no? ang nagamat ang tibak. No? Okay, so that is a kind of fables. And lastly, meron tayong tinatawag na epics. Epics are very lengthy. Narratives that are based on oral traditions. No, ang epics natin, example nito is uh, Biyag de Lamang. Okay, so Labaw Dunggon, Beowulf ng England, kung sa ibang bansa. Okay, so Mahabharata ng India, Ramayana ng India. Okay, so those are what we call epics. Okay, so when it comes to written literature. But then again, we are talking about pre-colonial pa lang no, ng Philippine history. Okay, so those are examples of written literature. Meron tayong poems, folk tales, myths, legends, fables, tsaka epics. Next. Next is what we call oral literature. Okay, so kanina written, yun oral naman. Meron tayong different types of oral literature under it are as follows. Meron tayong riddles. Meron tayong folk songs, we do have proverbs, lullabies, drinking songs, love songs, religious songs, and lastly is the songs of death. Okay? First thing is the riddles. Okay? So what riddles in Tagalog? Puktong. So riddles, these are effective way to inculcate the ability of logical thinking of a child. Okay? So alam ko naman, no? medyo familiar kayo sa mga puktong. Let's try it. Isang balong malalim, punong-puno ng patalim. What is the answer? <coughs> What is the answer on the three? Isang balong malalim, punong-puno ng patalim. Okay, bibig. Natama si Fiona. Very well. How about dalawang batong maitim, malayo ang dinarating? Dalawang batong maitim, malayo mata. ang dinarating. Okay, very well. So that is mata. How about limang puno ng nyok, isa'y matayog? Limang puno ng nyok, isa'y matayog. Tama. So dalire, according kay uh, Olivares. Very well. Next, lumuluha, walang mata, lumalakad, walang paa. Lumuluha, walang mata, lumalakad, walang paa. No, not, not a candle. Lumalakad. Ball pen. Okay, very good. So that is a ball pen. No? Lumuluha, walang mata, lumalakad, walang pa. Lastly, ang bintana ay pito, 
na isasara lamang ay tatlo. Yung bintana ay pito, na isasara lamang ay tatlo. Ano yun? What is the answer? Ang bintana ay pito, na isasara lamang ay tatlo. Very good. No, tama si Fiona, that is face. Okay, yung muka. We do have seven here. Two ears, two eyes, the nose here, and then the uh, mouth. Not doon lang ang nasasara. So that is face. Okay, that is muka. Okay, very good. So those are examples of riddles. Next is what we call folk songs. Okay, folk songs are chanted, of course. They are bounded by the learning of good morals, straightforward, and not figurative. Okay, so yung mga folk songs natin, best example, best example na siguro nito, ang pipit. Okay, by no other than Mr. Levi Celerio. Okay, so let's watch the example of a folk song here. So that is the one example of a folk song. Okay, the very uh, popular um, amphibian. Next is what we call proverbs. So proverbs, okay, so we do have here. It reflects the hidden meaning through the good lines. It provides good values. So <coughs> when we say proverbs, these are salawika in. Okay, so ano yung mga proverbs na ito salawika in? We do have, angat makinin ng kumot, no, matutong mamalok pa. How about you? What proverbs pa yung mga alam niya? Very cliche na yon, di ba? Yung mga proverbs na yun. Would you mind to give no, an example of a proverb? Can you type it on the chat box? Or can you speak up na lang? Ano pa yung mga proverbs na Bukod sa hanggat makitid ang kumo at natutong mamalok. Pagkahaba-haba man doon ang posisyon, sa simbahan pa din ang tuloy. This proverb, ano pa? Hanggat may tiga, may nilaga. Birds with the same feathers flock together, very well. And then so many more. No? So those are what we call proverbs. Okay, birds with the same feathers flock together. Okay, so in English. Next is what we call lullabies. Okay, so we are very much familiar with lullabies. So, siguro lahat naman tayo nakaranas. No, nung pag-hele, sabi nga when we say lullabies, this is logically known as hele. 
Okay, sang to put babies in sleep. Okay, so para makatulog yung mga babies. Okay, <coughs> lullabies, napa-English man or Tagalog, but we are talking about Philippine uh, lit. So, one best example of lullaby or lullabies is uh, the one that is sung by Miss Aisa din. Okay, so let us hear this example of lullaby. Sana'y di magmaliw ang pati kong araw Nang mundi pang bata sa piling ni nanay Nais kong maulit ang awit ni ng mahal Okay, so that is one example of lullaby. Of a lullabies natin. Ano title nun? Di tanda. Anong title nun? Sa ugoy okay, no? ng duyan. Sa ugoy ng duyan. No? Hindi sa ungoy ha. Sa ugoy ng duyan. Okay? So next is drinking songs. Okay, so drinking songs, of course, no? Medyo... Uh, tawag dito, may alam na kayo when it comes to uh, drinking songs. Drinking songs locally known as tagay. Okay? So, uh, this is sung during drinking sessions. Okay, yung mga drinking songs natin. Okay, so let's have this one example. Okay, this is an example of drinking songs and so many more when it comes to inhuman sessions. Okay, so we have tayo mga different drinking songs aside from that one. Next is love song, of course. Okay, we are very familiar with love songs. After natin ng uh, drinking songs, syempre love songs naman, lasing na eh. Kaya kakanta na yan ng uh, love songs. Okay, so love songs, also known as harana. Okay, it can also be called as courtship songs. Okay, so one example when it comes to siguro to the contemporary of ours is this uh, song. an example of a love song no, by Yen Constantino. Ikaw. Okay, so kindly rejoin lang for a while no, kapag hindi umabot. Okay, so if I'm mistaken, I go. Okay, so hanggang dito na lang din naman tayo. Okay, religious song, tsaka songs of the, as again, no need to rejoin na no, once the Zoom meeting has ended. Just answer the activity. Okay, on the genuine app, continue for the remaining time of ours. This is the last lang naman, religious song, tsaka songs of the Okay, obvious naman na. When we say religious song, songs or chants, of course, usually, 
we even doing um, exorcisms or thanksgiving. One example of this is this one. Lead me, Lord, lead me by the hand and make me face the rising sun. Comfort me through all the pain that life may pray. There's no other hope that I can lead upon. Lead me, Lord. Tapos ng drinking songs, religious songs naman na para magnilay-nilay. Okay, so that is an example of religious song songs. Again, once the Zoom meeting has ended, no need to rejoin, just continue answering the activity provided no, on the lesson package of us. Then lastly, songs of them. So that na kasi nito Spanish literature. No, we will be continuing that by next meeting of us. Okay, so medyo mahaba kasi yung mga yan. Spanish literature next meeting. So lastly is songs of death. Okay, syempre kinakanta doon sa matay, ito ay funeral. No, lamentations that contain the role of good deeds that the deed has usually done to immortalize the image. Okay, so pinaka best example of course There are other songs na hindi naman talaga truly pang funeral, pero nagamit lang talaga into his songs of death. No, 